A PhD student at Queen's University has made a discovery that could be a big breakthrough in the fight to cure cancer. Caitlin Mirren's research has uncovered a DNA binder that could switch off cancer cells and prevent them from spreading. And she's our guest this morning from Ottawa. Caitlin, so great to meet you this morning. Explain for us, how would this be used in cancer treatment? So basically what we're looking at is a a molecule that can bind to DNA. And you can think of it like your single-stranded DNA is a necklace. So it's a chain with beads that go along that necklace until they hit a knot. Now, you could go in and untangle that knot, but in this case, somebody's gotten there first and they've used superglue to hold it together. And so essentially what we've discovered in that case is that glue. Our, the knot is the quadruplex, the guanine quadruplex that our compound binds to. And then those beads are the cell machinery that's going to come along and process your DNA. Now, in this case, we found that guanine quadruplexes often happen at the start of sections of your DNA that are going to encode proteins, which will in turn have, have effects in cancer development and metastasis. So if we can stop the cell machinery from getting to that section of DNA, we can stop those proteins potentially from being expressed and so we can reduce the development of cancer. And would this apply to any type of cancer? Uh, so that's an excellent question. There are a number of different quadruplexes associated with different aspects of cancer. Um, and certainly in some cases there are cancers, um, there are quadruplexes we see in perhaps 85% of cancers. Wow, this is incredible. Kaylin, how did you discover this? So this was done through the support of an NSERC grant initially and then a MITAX Global Link internship um, that allowed me to go over and work in Dr. Jean-Louis Mermi's lab in the Institut, Institut Européen de Chimie et Biologie in Bordeaux, France. And essentially what happened was that I took a number of compounds from our lab, the Petit Jean lab at Queen's University, and I went over to the Mermi lab and I screened them using high throughput screening and from that, we identified a potential hit compound. Caitlin, this is, this is, it feels miraculous because people have been, uh, you know, funding projects to research and end to cancer for decades. Billions of dollars have been spent. And yours is the first story that we're hearing about where this might actually be possible. How does that feel? It's really exciting. It's exciting to be on the forefront of this field. This is a research field that has been ongoing maybe for 20 or 30 years. There are other quadruplex binders out there, um, but what we're seeing is that ours is, is very high performing. We know research like this in its early stages takes a long time uh, before it can be available, but give us a sense of timeline. Where are you at in the research and, and when could it be put into use? So we've just filed a patent um, and that will take maybe a year to finalize into a formal patent. And we're still at this point looking at developing um, the initial hit compounds to see can we improve targeting to cancer cells? Can we improve entry into the cells through a membrane? Um, so at this point, we're not ready to go to commercial development, um, mm -hmm. but perhaps in the next five to eight years, we might see something coming. Well, given the fact that you are so young, you have many years ahead of you of research and study, it's, it's an incredible story. Congratulations, Caitlin. Thank you.